No lines? No checkout? Take what you want and go? No way! That's exactly the promise of Amazon Go. Amazon's new checkoutless convenience store, Amazon Go, is open to the public and beta testing in a location in Seattle. Other test stores are set to pop up all over the country. Imagine a store where there are no lines. Just present your phone and start shopping. So how does Amazon Go work? Amazon Go is possible because of the same kinds of technologies that are used in self-driving cars. Computer vision, sensor fusion, and deep learning. Basically, a bunch of cameras and other sensors follow you through the store. Amazon's patented Just Walk Out technology automatically detects when you lift products from shelves or put them back, and tracks them in a virtual shopping cart. When you're done shopping, you just go. No lines, no cashier, just walk out. You'll receive a receipt on your app and your purchases will be billed to your Amazon account. Amazon Go stocks a similar range to a 7-Eleven. Staples like bread, milk, ready-to-eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack options. Essentially, Amazon is merging the technology-based experience of e-commerce with the convenience of brick-and-mortar stores. It potentially offers a wealth of data for Amazon to track shoppers' online and offline purchasing behavior. They'll know the time you spend in-store, how often you come back, and how your offline spending relates to your online shopping. The implications for retail staff are all too obvious. There are no jobs for cashier at Amazon Go. While sales checkout machines have been growing in Europe and Australia, they are much less common in the US. There are 3.4 million people who work as cashiers, making up almost 6% of the total workforce. It's the country's second most common job. However, Amazon Go stores will employ some workers. There's a greeter waiting at the entrance, staff who prepare the fresh food in the kitchen visible to a passerby, and a staff member to check IDs for the alcohol section. But if Amazon Go becomes the norm, job losses in this sector will be considerable. There are also deeper issues. By tracking a customer's every movement in the store, Amazon has created a new level of personal surveillance which may not stop once you walk out the door. Your shopping on and offline could be continually tracked. Customers could not only be followed by cameras, store surveillance could be extended to microphones. It's just like that book 1984, except now Big Brother knows exactly how many chocolate bars you eat each week. Commentators have pointed out how similar the concept is to the source of the company's largest profits, Amazon Web Services. So what are Amazon's ultimate plans for Amazon Go? Just over a decade ago, Amazon realized that the platform its online e-commerce business was based on could be licensed to other companies. Today, that cloud computing component of Amazon's business is on track to bring over $10 billion per year in revenue. Netflix, NASA, Pinterest, Reddit, and the CIA are all hosted on AWS. AWS has been the financial life preserver that Amazon desperately needed when all other departments were floundering. It's easy to see how Amazon's patented walk-in, walk-out payment system is like their Amazon Web Services framework. It could easily be licensed to supermarkets and retail chains. Amazon Go is the AWS for brick-and-mortar retail. Amazon Go shows that 22 years on, yes it's been that long, that Amazon isn't running out of ideas. Amazon has just come up with a way to make the convenience store even more convenient. The deeper question then becomes, are we today willing to easily trade personal freedom for shopping convenience? Hey everybody, John Burrow from Mammoth Animations. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, you can support us by enrolling in this free course on how to make games without coding. This course is normally $30 and you can have it today for free. This sale won't last forever, so enroll today. If you really like this video, you can like and subscribe. Also, please be sure to comment on the video as well. We do read the comments. Lastly, if you're a big fan of Mammoth Animations, you can support us on Patreon. It's because of patrons like you that make this video possible. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned next week for another Mammoth Animation.